Hey guys, Roman Key Jr. here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to record your gameplay on PC using OBS, also called Open Broadcast Software. It is a free software, and this video has for a goal for you guys to participate in a few video series that will be coming to the BF Nations channel very soon. I'll make another video explaining all that, but in this video, we're just going to focus on uh, explaining how to record your gameplay with OBS. So first things first, you're going to want to go to the OBS website and download the installer. I've already done this. There's a link in the description down below for the website. So I already have it downloaded. As soon as it's done downloading, just go ahead and show in folder and then go run as administrator. I'm not going to do that because I already have it uh, installed. So after you're done doing that, you can continue watching the video. So next thing you're going to want to do is open up OBS. Now I already have it open here and it's pretty standard, um, pretty standard layout. It might not look like this um, because I have the dark theme on. I can show you guys how to do that. So first things first, we're going to go in settings and tweak a few things. So this is where I put the dark theme. You can have it default, which is white, rachne, which is this, and dark. So you can use whichever one you want, but this is not the point of the video. So we're gonna go straight to output and then recording. So uh, you will have probably the custom output. So just go standard. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is for the recording path, just go browse and make a new folder wherever you want on your PC, call it whatever you want and then you're going to go select folder after that's done. I already have it. It's set to hard drive D and gaming videos. And then you're going to want to choose the MP4 recording format, which is the one I use. I think it's the best one for multiple reasons. Um, then audio tracks, you're only going to want to select two because that's all the audio lines that you're going to have is two. Um, for the encoder, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use the NV ENC H.264 encoder. If not, you can just use the X264. For rescale output, leave that unchecked. Um, if you're able to record in 1080p, you should. If not, you can always rescale it to 720p by using this. Just check it and then go in the drop down menu and then select 720p. But obviously, 1080p is better quality. Um, and in this section here, this is where you control the bitrate and whatnot of the video recording. So I use CQP and a uh, value of 20 here. And you can always lower this or use CBR and put a bitrate of like 5,000. Um, but for the best quality and file size, I would use CQP and 20. You can always reduce this to get a smaller file size if you don't have enough room on your hard drive. Um, and that's all you have to do there. So then you can hit apply. Next tab we're going to go to is audio. So you guys are going to have two audio devices to uh, configure. So the first one is going to be desktop audio device. Then you're going to go in the drop down menu and you can obviously just leave it on default if you only have one audio device uh, on your computer. But most of the time that's not the case. So for me, what I would use is the uh, Logitech G930 gaming headset. So that's my base audio device that I use. And then for the mic slash auxiliary audio device, uh, that's your microphone that's going to record your voice. So you would go and select whatever mic you're using. So I'm using the Yeti stereo microphone. So that's what I would have selected. And then you're going to go apply. And then uh, you can have, you can do a couple more things here. Um, the video, if you can record in 60 FPS, that would be great. If not, you can just leave it at 30, but 60 is the best quality. And then advanced and hotkeys, you can go around and mess with those if you want some hotkeys for start recording, stop recording. Um, but that's not very complicated. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a scene. So there's a scene menu right here and a little plus button. So press that little plus button and you can call it whatever you want. For example, game capture. Uh, that game, <laughs> see mine's already in use. So we're just going to add scene two just for the sake of uh, showing you guys. And then you're going to want to add sources. So the source you're going to want to add is called game capture. So what's this going to do? What this is going to do is it will capture any full screen application. Note that if you are running in a uh, full screen borderless or windowed mode, this will not work. You'll have to use something else, but you can always ask me in the comments down below if you guys need any help with that. So, and then just select okay. And then that should be done. Next thing you're going to want to do is there should be a little red uh, circle here in the top left hand corner. Right click on that, go uh, transform and then go fit to screen. If not, your recordings will basically just be a black screen 
and you really don't want that, you're only going to hear is the audio and that's not great. Now, last thing you're going to want to do is go into advanced audio properties by clicking this little gear icon under the mixer tab. And you're going to have all of these audio tracks checked off. Um, well, you're only going to have desktop audio and mic auxiliary, so don't pay attention to desktop audio too. But basically what you want is for only one of these numbers to be checked off for each, uh, each of these devices. So for example, I have my mic set to the line one, desktop audio two is set to line two, and desktop audio is set to line three. So if you only have two, you can obviously just put mic on one and then desktop audio on two, but make sure that you do that. If not, they're all going to be mixed together and it's going to be a little harder to uh, edit or just, it's, it just makes your life easier like this. Then go close and then you can start recording your glorious uh, footage. I'll show you guys an example right now of what the quality might look like. So gaming videos, I'm just going to get some, some good old battlefield, battlefield footage here. So as you can see, it actually looks quite nice. And um, it's really good quality. File size isn't too bad. So that was a 13.7 gigabyte uh, file. And it was 53 minutes. So about 15 gigs per hour. Of course, as I said, you can always go into that setting and change the CQP. Um, but the one thing with this software that you can't do is record stuff that already happened. Uh, for example, like with Shadow Play. If you guys want me to show you guys how to record with Shadow Play, I can always make another video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want that. Uh, but that's it for this little tutorial. Uh, there's, there'll be another video uh, in the future to explain the video series that we're launching for the BF Nation's YouTube channel. Um, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions. Also, be sure to join the Discord server of BF Nations. There's also a link to the website in the description. And you can also go check out my channel, Rogue Monkey Jr. There'll be a link in the description as well. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like uh, if you did and subscribe to BF Nations if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.